Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a sawtooth roof. And we're going to start right from scratch. Go to your wall tool. Um, make a basic rectangular building. I'm going to do 40 by 60 sounds about right. Finish that off. Give you a quick 3D. So right now, all I have here is your average rectangular building. Get out of that. Uh, one of the most important things about creating sawtooth roofs is knowing which work plane you're working in. Uh, so we're going to start off by going into the elevation. From the elevation you see just a blank wall, that's all it is. Uh, so you want to create a sawtooth roof uh, by two components. You're going to be using the walls for where you're going to be hosting the windows. And then you're also going to be using a roof, uh, which is basically the back side of uh, the triangular element. So we're going to go into component, model in place. We are going to scroll down to generic models. Hit OK. Uh, let's call this wall with window. Hit OK. And then we're going to set our work planes. This is very important so that you actually know where you're working. Otherwise, it could get really funky really quickly. So go ahead and choose pick a plane. Hit OK and you're going to be selecting um, this wall here. Pay attention here because here when I hover around here I get one line but if I go just below it I get two so the top and the bottom as opposed to if I just go to the edge I'm going to be clipping that edge which I don't want to do so make sure you get both lines to highlight up, highlight select that and then go to uh, extrusion we're going to start off with very basic. You can do all the calculations to determine uh, which angle will work best for your location uh, to allow the most efficient type of light. But for starters, we're just going to choose, let's say, uh, an angle of 135. We're going to have it 12 feet long. And then, if we don't want to square that off, we'll have it uh, two feet then finish that off right there okay so that's going to become uh, the wall that is going to host the window later on so go ahead and hit okay for that and then finish model I'll give you a quick 3d of what I've got going on right now you can see that there so what we're going to do is we're going to want to pull this apart pull it to flush with the end and flush with this end so now you have that uh, wall where we're going to host the window. To host that window, you want to select that wall, edit in place, go to uh, create, void forms, and then void extrusion. You want to get your look squared away, and again, you're going to want to set your work plane. Uh, pick a plane, hit OK. Then you're going to want to make sure you're actually selecting the whole plane and not just an edge. Uh, we can you can see when all four lines are blue that means you selected the whole uh, plane as opposed to just an edge and then start cutting out your window uh, it's pretty simple I'm just gonna do something really arbitrary and rectangular once you select or once you set up your hole you can press the check mark and then uh, hold shift and the scroll button on your mouse if you have uh, a mouse and then that'll tell you how far uh, in your extrusion is going as of right now it's just planar uh, but if we set up our elevation you can then proceed to drag it down um, and there you go you have your hole in your wall uh, you can also come over here on the side and that will also let you uh, determine how deep you want to extrude your object finish model at the top here click OK and then swing it back to your quote unquote front elevation. Uh, each person will probably have a different elevation. This is how I set up my model. Uh, you feel free to do it however way you please. Um, so I'm going to go back here because this is my elevation that I've been working in. Uh, now you're going to go to create the roof element. So architecture, roof. Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to do it in a model in place component, it'll probably be easier. Uh, scroll down to the bottom until you find roofs, uh, sawtooth, roof, element, and then again, same thing, we're going to want to set our work plane, ok, 
Okay. Make sure that you've got both top and bottom lines highlighted. And then you're going to start extruding. So extrusion line. Again, this can be any angle you want. Um, we'll just keep it at the 135. That's what we're working on with right now. So why not? Okay. I want, let's call it 10 feet in between each sawtooth. I want the roof to be, eh. well, well, let's do it off of this side. Here, shoot that over. Make sure this is all squared away. So we're gonna move that up. Delete this element, I just use it to square things up. Drag that up, drag that over. And now you should have, what is your roof? Oh, don't forget to close your boundaries. All right, click finish model, go back to your 3D. If you wanna do it from this side, it'll probably be easier. Just drag things right on through. A uh, quick little note on the side, if you got it sticking out so far that's easy to fix just hit al on your keyboard that's the align tool or uh this little tool right here that's what it is align al select that select your boundary and then select the roof element and it'll square it off for you this kind of looks funky so i might actually end up editing that um so it doesn't look so weird there you go. And that's basically what you have to do to create a sawtooth roof. Of course, you can get more fancy and put glass and all that in this space here. Uh, but that's really dependent on the person and what you want to do. Uh, what I would do now is just mock this uh, all the way throughout your building. You'll have another one here, another one there, etc. Um, you might need to adjust things as far as this uh, wall here so that it maths evenly with uh, the end of your roof element. But I mean, once you figure out the concept, it's really easy just to knock it out. Uh, if you have any questions or comments um, or want me to do certain types of tutorials, just let me know uh, in the comment area below and I'll be happy to. Have a good one.